everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I'm back. I took a short vacation with family over the 4th of July and had a really good time. So it's been over a week since I've done any pouring and I'm ready to get started again. Uh, today I have a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I've put down my base coat which is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents uh, White Pearl. Very pretty color. It's got some bling to it. And I'm going to do just a simple swipe today. I might do some balloon kisses. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll just see how it goes. But let's go over the rest of my paints here. I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. This is a really a color that I, I really like. Really nice color. I have Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine. I have a mixture, let's see here. I have Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl. I have a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Black and Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Real Pewter. I wanted to darken that pewter up just a little bit there, so I did a combination of these two colors. And my next color is Folk Art Treasure Gold, their Majestic Gold. And to that, I added a couple shakes of the Jewelescent Vegas Gold Mica Powder, just to give it a little more bling. So a combination of those two. And let's see, my last color is, I watched Gail Bernstein of Life in Splatters, and um, she used to use a paint that was called Art Minds DIY Mysterious. And I never did get to use that paint, but she came up with a um, some paints she mixed together that got close to that paint. So that's what I've done, and I'll go over it with you. It's one part of the Artist Slough Metallic Cobalt Blue. It's a quarter part of PBO Studio Acrylics number 357, which is called Dyna. Again, that's a quarter part of that. And it's a quarter part of Color Shift by Folk Art Black Flash. And the last one, the last component of that is Golden's Turquoise Phalo, the Fluid Acrylics, a quarter part. So they're all a quarter part except for that um, Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. My pouring medium today, and let me show you that color that I mixed up. That's that pretty color there. And I'll show you consistency. Pretty thin today. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. That is my go-to pouring medium. It's worked really well for me in the past, so that's what I'm going with today. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be doing a swipe. Um, no silicone added to my paints today, so let's get started here. And I'll start with the gray color, I think. And I'm not going to go right in the center. I'm going to leave some at the top here today. And now I will put that color that was called Majestic down. Very pretty bluish green color. And 
and this is the uh, Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl. Next, I'm going to add the ruby. And the last one, I'm going to add my gold. And I think I will put the gold up here underneath the, the grayish, grayish color here. And I am going to swipe with the um, golden uh, fluid acrylic iridescent pearl fine. So I will put that up here. Today what I'm swiping with are just little plastic or paper um, cut out sheets that I have. So I'll just get started. And I may not let the let my uh, colors go all the way to the bottom. I get a lot of my inspiration for this type of um, swipe from Kathleen of Cause Creation, that's C-O-Z, so I'm giving her a shout out. If you ever get time, check out Kathleen's channel. And also, if you get time, check out uh, Gail Bernston, Life and Splatters channel also. I've learned a lot from both of those artists. different size swipe tools here and little cards as I call them I hope all of you had a fun 4th of July, those of you in the U.S. I hope you all enjoyed family or friends and got to have some fun during the holiday. I was lucky enough to spend some time on the lake a lot of fun and there were fireworks on the lake also which was really nice okay and now what I think I'll do is I'm going to turn this over. No, I won't turn it over. I'll leave it right where you can all see it. And I'm going to go swipe up a little bit, lay some more colors down and just swipe up. These colors are playing very, very well together today. They look very pretty, this combination. A 
little more here. And a little more ruby. And a little more gold. Okay. I will add a little bit more in my swipe color. I still do have quite a bit of it left. Just a little bit more here. Okay. And now I will swipe from this way. Swipes are a lot of fun. Okay, just finishing up here using a very little card now. Okay, a few more spots here I'd like to get. going to just do a little bit of tipping back and forth here. And then bring it back this way. Once again, bring it down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to torch it. And now I think what I'm going to do is take a color, take my color shift, my folk art color shift, black flash, and I have a little tip that I can put on it. it comes out okay and now I'm going to just run this down just to give it a little extra accent here 
just here and there. Just run it along my lines here. Again, I get a lot of my ideas from Kathleen of Cos Creation, and I have seen Kathleen do this before. Just enhances it a little bit. And I will go this way also. I think I will turn it around so it make it a little easier for me. Well, I have a few minutes. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and my watchers. I really do appreciate all of you. And please leave comments. If there's something that you do like or something that you don't like that I do, let me know. Something I can improve on or you'd like to see more of. Always happy to oblige. I'll do one more here. I'm just try and run those down the natural lines that have been created by the swipe. Okay. I'm just going to tip these a little. Hopefully get them to blend in a little more. And then tip them back. Okay. And now I'm going to give it another torch. I do have some really pretty lacing in here. Looks like the ruby mixed with that white so pretty. Made some nice lacing. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a few balloon kisses and see if the paint is too wet. If it is, I'll have to take some time turn the camera off and come back to do them let's just give it a try here very pretty This is just a balloon that has water in it. And I think the water just gives that a little bit of extra weight when I make these balloon kisses. I think that's very pretty in there.
okay. I'm pretty happy with this. Just a few more here. Okay. I think I will get you down for a close-up. And I think this would be the orientation of this painting. This would be the top and that the bottom. So let me get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, here we are for our close up. Off camera, what I did is I took some of my little cards that I was um, swiping with and I ran them through several times through these black lines, as you can see. And I just added quite a bit more little lines there. I just think that looks a lot better. And I did do some a few more balloon kisses here. This is the left side of my painting going down the left side here. And there's some of those balloon kisses. I just think they turned out beautiful. That ruby color. And I got some lacing here. And as you can see how I just took those cards and I made a lot like, almost like uh, tree branches here. Just thought that looked so much better than just solid lines. And I'll take you up the middle here. Again, here are those balloon kisses. And this is the middle on the top. Take you over to the right-hand side now. Top right-hand corner here. And we'll go down the right-hand side. Very pretty in here. A lot of colors. A lot for the eye to see. some cells, a lot of lacing. I just think it turned out very pretty. So let me know what you think. This is the lower right hand corner. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I post a new video. And um, subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, Take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.